the Raptors might have their new head coach. Hey guys, I'm Anwar here, and before I jump into this video, I just want to ask you guys to give me the HBO special, and that is the help a brother out. You can do that by hitting the subscribe button and leaving a like underneath this video. I don't really like long intros, so let's jump back into the story. On Thursday afternoon, Bleacher Report reported that the Toronto Raptors and Masai Ujiri had asked permission from the Las Vegas Aces in order to talk to and interview Becky Hammond about the potential of being the next head coach of the Toronto Raptors. And of course, this comes just a week after the Toronto Raptors fired their previous head coach, Nick Nurse, who was with them for five years and helped them win their first ever championship. But I'm not surprised at all. Why? Because Masai Ujiri, right after the Toronto Raptors were eliminated from the playoffs against the Chicago Bulls in the play-in tournament, he said that the Toronto Raptors had a lot of changes coming down the pipeline and to expect a lot of shifting and in fact that everybody except for Scotty Barnes was on the table and had the potential of being moved. It was going to be a big, big offseason for the Toronto Raptors and it's much needed too because the Toronto Raptors have been mediocre, subpar for the better part of the last three years, right? So something needs to change. But this report was met with a lot of varying opinions from different people, especially amongst the Toronto Raptors fan base, about Becky Hammond potentially becoming the next head coach of the Toronto Raptors. Why? Well, as you all know, if Becky Hammond was to be hired to be the next head coach, she would break and make history by being the first ever female head coach to coach in the NBA. It would be a huge thing for the Toronto Raptors. It would be a huge thing for the NBA. And there are skeptics and I'm going to get onto the arguments that I've seen from the skeptics online of why the Toronto Raptors shouldn't hire Becky Hammond. And I'm going to give my thoughts and my opinion on what I think of what's going to happen. So the skeptics on Twitter, so people tweeting, prominent people, but then also the fan base of Toronto Raptors in the comment section of the Toronto Raptors posts, stuff like that. What I've been seeing from the skeptics is this. They don't want Becky Hammond to be the next head coach. Not particularly because that she can't coach, but because she's a woman. And I know that sounds extremely, extremely misogynistic. And it kind of is to a certain degree, right? So their argument is this. They're saying, yes, while Becky Hammond does have the skills, the knowledge to become a head coach, is it really good? Or is it really the smartest idea to have her be the head coach in the NBA? Why? Because Becky Hammond, she's 5'8", you know, she's a regular sized woman. And in order to be a head coach in the NBA, you need to be a leader of men, right? These guys look up to you to guide them, tell them what to do and whatever, right? And these guys are barely 6'3", six, 6'8", six, men with a lot of testosterone and, and very aggressive, right? So they are skeptical of players being able to respect or follow Becky Hammond when she tells them to do something. When she draws up a play for a certain player, when she's yelling from the sidelines, right? It's just not the same as a dude, an old guy with gray in his beard, telling them how to play the game, making the right calls, doing this and that, right? And I would be naive, and you would be naive, to not at least acknowledge part of where they're coming from, right? Could you imagine Becky Hammond next to Scotty Barnes? He's Whole huge guy, right? He's physically more scarier than her, right? And I, I know Scotty Barnes wouldn't be misogynistic towards Becky Hammond, but I'm just trying to paint the picture, right? And I, I don't agree with these skeptics. I don't think that's that's fair, right? Why? Because Becky Hammond has a long, long history of being acquainted with the game of basketball. She has a vast knowledge of the game of basketball. She played in the WNBA, and then she coached under the one and only Greg Popovich. She was an assistant head coach to Greg Popovich. She was an assistant head coach to another team in the NBA. I don't exactly remember exactly what team it was. Right prior before she got the job as the head coach of the Las Vegas Aces. So she's been around the game. She's played the game. She's been around people who know the game. She knows the right calls, what to do. Now, where I do agree with some of the skeptics is the job with the Toronto Raptors is to develop young men. Right? That's the head coaching job because Scotty Barnes still young. They still have some young pieces. It's to develop these guys to the point where they can become a a powerhouse, a, a actual team that's respectable. It's, it's not what Nick Nurse inherited when he first got the head coaching job, which was, oh, I just coached for one year and then I got Kawhi Leonard 
let's go to the finals, right? It's not that you have to nurture these guys. And that's where I, I'm kind of understanding, right?